hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be sharing best blue stack 10 settings to make it run faster on windows 10 and windows 11. so if you have lag stutter and the performance is not good and especially if you have a low-end pc then make sure that you watch this video till the end so let's quickly get it started first what you will have to keep in your mind that you disable all the startup application that are not required so mostly what happened that whenever you turn on your computer this unwanted application comes and run in the background and occupies a lot of resources so what you can do you make a right click on the windows icon then you have to click on task manager in the task manager you have to click on the startup tabs now here you will find all the applications and you need to look for the one that you don't want that it should come while starting the computer like blue stack I don't want that it should come while the computer load up because it will be slowing down my performance. So I will right click and choose disable. Droid Joy, this is another third party application. So I will right click and choose disable. Epic Game Launcher, it's already disabled. Lively Wallpaper, disable it. Then you have Microsoft Team, disable it. So you don't have to touch any kind of audio, Wi Fi, entire virus file. Rest all the third party application you can go ahead and disable it so once you are done close it next what you will have to keep in your mind that your windows 10 or 11 both are updated and even the graphic driver is up to date so click on your windows search type update click on check for updates and right now you can see my system is up to date but if you have any update you can click on check for update and if the updates are available kindly go ahead and update it next right click on the windows icon choose device manager in the device manager you have to look for the display adapter double click on it it will display whichever graphic card you're using amd intel or nvidia right click on it choose update driver it will check and if there is any kind of update available it will update it all right so once you are done with all these two settings next you need to bring up your blue stack so click on your windows search type blue stack open it and once it's up you can minimize it then right click on the windows icon click on task manager from the top or the left menu option you have to click on details now here you have to look for hd player so keep scrolling down until you find hd player and in case if you don't find HD player, you can look for bluestackx.exe. Right click on it, pour up to set priority and either go with the above normal or high. So what will happen that it will give the maximum priority, the high priority to this blue stack so that it can run much smoother without any kind of lag. All right, depending on your configuration, you can choose above normal or high. Click on change priority again. Once done, you can close it. Now click on your window search again, type graphic. From the suggestion, click on graphic settings. Now here where it says search this list, you need to click on it. Search for a blue stack. If you don't find, then click on browse. Now it will ask you the location of the blue stack. And in order to find the location, click on window search again, type blue stack. Blue stack 10 will be coming up. Right click on it, choose open file location. Again, right click on blue stack 5, choose open file location. Now copy the path from the top. Minimize it. Now paste the path in the graphic box. Hit the enter key. Scroll down, you will find blue stack 10.exe. Click on it, then click on add. So the blue stack will now be added. Now click on options and select this to high performance. Click on save. And then you can close it now finally we have to make the changes with the setting of blue stack but before that i always recommend you that while playing blue stack while running blue stack make sure that your high disk cpu ram usage is under control so in order to check that again you can right click on the windows icon click on task manager now here you will find all kind of consumptions of your cpu memory and the disk so in case whichever is high so you can check that which application is consuming the most memory and the CPU usage and you can close that particular application. 
right now you can see the google chrome is occupying a lot of memory usage so if you face any kind of lag while using the blue stack kindly go ahead and close the google chrome browser similarly look for the other application that is consuming the maximum cpu and the memory usage and close them once you are done open the blue stack again now here in the blue stack on the very left hand corner you will find multi instance manager so you will have to click here this will pop up with another box of blue stack multi instance manager now once you come up here on the very left hand bottom you will find the instant option click on instance then click on fresh instance now you here you have to choose the android version so on my end it doesn't support the nougat 32 bit so i will go and choose nougat 64 bit so whichever support you can choose that option from here then you have to click on next now here it will ask you multiple options like cpu cores so i would recommend you that here choose the core depending that that how much core your cpu support so if your physical cpu support 4 then go with the half of that all right so i would recommend to go with the medium two cores in the memory allocation select the drop down and choose enhanced 4 gigabyte resolution you can keep as it is whatever has been detected abi settings i think x86 and um both will be fine performance mood uh here you have to select high performance in case if the high performance doesn't work then you can again switch back to low memory so you have to keep all these settings in your mind and then just keep as it is then click on download now here the downloading will be started so you will have to wait now in case if you are using the pi 64 bit then you can click on the setting gear icon and just make the same changes that i'm going to make in the nugget 64 bit so let's wait until this has been downloaded okay so once it's been downloaded click on the setting gear icon here now here in the performance you have to keep this selected to medium two cores memory allocation will be enhanced four gigabyte the frame rate uh, you can keep this selected to 60 gigabyte then come to the display section and now here it will show you that what kind of uh, resolution you can choose so i would always recommend that you should go with 1600 into 900 but if you have the higher resolution monitor then you can choose that option or you can go with 1920 into 180 but if you have a low end pc and normal monitor then you should go with this option and then finally we can come to the graphic section graphic engine mode you can choose this to performance graphic renderer this will be selected to open gl interface renderer you can keep this to auto then finally click on save changes and now you're all set simply just restart your pc and this time when you will run the blue stack you will not find any kind of lag and it will be running smoother and you will be getting the best graphic performance as well so hopefully guys after applying all the steps i'm very sure that you will find the changes and if you find this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe for any question you can let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye